Hey everybody, Barry here again. Man, what a lot of chassis work we got going on this last few videos. Oof. I cannot wait to get onto something else and, uh, and leave this whole frame thing behind. Um, over the next few videos, it's gonna be a little more engine stuff, a little more wiring stuff, all kinds. But as for right now, I'm gonna finish up this frame. Going to clean up the rear end. And by that, I mean, get rid of these brackets here pull those shock mounts off. This was just very, very temporary stuff. I wouldn't judge me based on this because it was just only to get the truck to the shop. And one of the guys calculated on one of the last videos and it was like 2.8 kilometers or something like that from my house to the shop here. And that was, that was it, getting cut off. And then I'm gonna weld on the spring purchase and all that stuff, but that's gonna be later when I get the engine in, measure opinion height, stuff like that. But as of right now, Kind of excited because after i get this rear end and stuff ready after i cut the brackets off clean it up pull out the extra leaf springs that i don't need my girls are going to come up and help me paint this frame so i'm i'm really looking forward to that it's been a while since they've helped me with stuff because mostly it's been welding grinding loud stuff dangerous stuff fire and i don't want them around this stuff yet because they don't have to be <laughs> so let's get this thing uh, all cleaned up here and then hopefully the girls will be here soon. I don't know how hard it's gonna to be to get this out, but yeah, it's gonna suck here. Hmm. Probably gonna have to jack up the truck to take a wheel off. Or something. Come on. Ooh. At least it's got a limited slip, not a spool. That's something. But it's very limited slip. Got it. Okay, so the tech plan is pretty much just take the grinder across here, maybe the plasma cutter. Chop all this stuff off. I only welded everything on one side. So these shock brackets and stuff, I only welded on one side so I can cut it and it'd be a lot easier to pull them off. I might try to save these brackets if I can and use them on the shocks or I just might make new ones. Now I'll cut off the gear bolt, or the center bolt. You can't hear me anyway. I got everything pretty much cut out. Um, I'm down to one leaf and I just messaged Fitz from Fitz's Fabrications on YouTube and asked him what he thinks I should do with the springs. I was looking at the single leaf that I have here now because I cut the helpers and stuff off and he suggested that I go with two main leaves, meaning this one and the main and throw away the helper because it'll be bottoming out a lot if I don't do it that way. So I did my own little experiment. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but this is the helper leaf. And I suppose this would pretty much mimic the main leaf because it's the same thickness, same width. And I said, well, I'll try to stand on it 
and see what happens. So with me just standing on it, it goes down like probably three inches. So I'm 180 pounds or something like that. So like I can flatten this thing out just by jumping on it. So imagine what a thousand pounds worth of truck is gonna do. So I am gonna be putting this one back in. Uh, if the truck is too high, I was talking to Charles Williams, another guy who saved my behind a handful of times at this, and, uh, and he suggested that I flip the axle, which I will do, I've got no issue with, I've done it before, not a big deal, but I don't wanna have to notch this frame. And he said that he has, I think his might be an 02 GMC single cab, and he flipped his axle, he didn't touch the frame, just cut off the bump stops, and he said it only hits on like really, really deep bumps. So my truck is quite a bit lighter than his. His is probably 4,000 pounds. So it might be fine. Now, I don't really have the nerve to let go of these leaf springs today <laughs> because this stuff never lets go easy. Something is gonna seize in here, whether it's the bushings, whether it's whatever. Something here is going to seize and it's going to ruin my day before the girls get here. So I'm just going to go ahead right now, lay, lay the spring on top of the axle. I'll put these in with new pins and then the girls are and I are going to paint it. I don't want to make any big drastic changes like putting the axle on top of the springs until I get the engine in it, get the bed on it, get a battery, or at least mimic the weight of all of that and, um, and see how it sits. I don't mind having like one inch higher in the rear, a little bit of rake, but I don't want it like street beast muscle car or street freak whatever you want to call it not into that at all so that's for right now i'm gonna go put this rear end in and uh, the girls will be here in about half an hour or so so it's going to be perfect timing i think and we're going to go painting all right Let's get this put together i'm going to have to use a washer because there's a, a section of non-threaded on that bolt so Springs aren't completely flattened out anyway. I'm just gonna put one washer on top, to make sure that it's gonna work out. I'm excited about going with leaf springs. It's been a long time since I had leaves. And I found out after I had the coilovers, after I had regular coil springs, that leaves for what I'm doing on the street and just for regular driving, I found leaves are better. People like, can argue that black and blue, and like obviously I'm not gonna get the same 60 foot. Or probably not the same down track time that everybody else is getting with coilovers and blinking chocks and all that fun stuff, but this is a street truck that sees a lot of after dark. And uh, it's not a serious race machine. You know, it's not a serious race car that I'm out betting big piles of money on, so I'm just doing it for my own enjoyment. So I gotta put another washer in. I am gonna cut that bolt off now though, I don't know the length of it. air shocks on this. I have used air shocks before and I loved them. They were great. So I'm thinking about it again and Charles said that he has some air shocks that I could use. And uh, I think that would make a big difference. He said he would have went a uh, uh, 1-4 60 foot on air shocks. 
I'm not exactly sure how much how much PSI was in them, but one four is wild for a stock suspension setup like that. I like that. Now maybe a manual transmission vehicle too is not going to be anything stellar, but it'll work. One thing I always suggest doing when you get your center pin put in is leave just under a quarter inch, maybe just a little bit better than an eighth of an inch, and just kind of whack the treads like that. That'll stop that nut from backing off because there is going to be vibration and, and bouncing and stuff going on here. And these center pins can back off and then they start to wiggle, then they shear off and your rear end comes out of alignment. So that'll pretty much stop that. Done. Well, I guess it's time to put the rear end in. Let's see if I can do this wrong again. I gotta get a set of rims for this yet. Cause I don't have any. And they're, they're a five on four and a half Ford pattern, which I've never used before, so I just don't have, but I saw some on Keystone for a decent price, like 150 bucks each or something, and they're 10 inches wide. But I've got to make sure that they're going to be the right width. So I'm going to wait until the pan is on before I go order any parts. Oh man, this is a lot of work. So I'm not going to weld on the spring parts yet, because I'm not ready for that part. Got to get the engine in place, make sure it's, uh, make sure the pinion height is at, or the rear end height is at. So, put my spring parts on there. What I'm going to be using for spring perches is these right here. I bought these from Concrete Concepts, just a metal store up the road. And these are for a trailer, but they'll work fine. And they're for the perfect diameter that the rear end is. So this will be this will be just fine. And they're different sizes, so that doesn't help anything. Alrighty, got the rear end bolted in. I had to temporarily put these blocks right here because the U-bolts are like way too long, but <laughs> it actually worked fine. They're supposed to be between the rear end and the leaf springs to jack them up, but all that is right on time because my two pretty girls are here. Hello, ah, here we go. Now I can see both of you. <laughs> and we're gonna go painting. 
You guys ready to go painting? Yeah! Sweet. <laughs> All right, so we got to get some masking. Hi, baby. Hi. Ah, mm, donuts. <laughs> All right, I told them to put on clothes that they don't care, but we're getting paint on, so this is perfect. All right, try not to fall off that now and get a tetanus or lockjaw or anything like that. All right, so we're going to plan, girls, is we're going to push the truck ahead that way, put down disc masking stuff, and we'll roll the truck back over it. That's a lot of painting. That's why I was like, do you have the rollers? Oh, no. No, no. We're painting rat rod stuff. Ha, 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 my ears. <laughs> okay. Let's set it up, and we'll move the truck ahead. All right, Lily, push it ahead. All right, push it ahead. There you go. Try not to push it right on out through the doors or anything. Oh, I think we're running over to Welder. Just one second. Oh, no. Legs down on the ramp. There we go. All right, push it ahead. Wow. Okay, relax, man. <laughs> you almost pushed it right on out the door. Wow. Yeah, that, that part there is a little bit sharp. I got to cut it off with the with the grinder, but. Oh, I think I cut myself. Well, you're all right. Look, I cut my pants earlier. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hurt. All right, both of you push it ahead a little bit farther there. One second, boys. Once again, I need to get off. All right. Take your time. Go slow, slowly. This child labor thing is awesome. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Oh, we ran over a part of the truck. <laughs> How does the oh, truck we can, run over a part we can of go. The yeah, I know. There's stuff hanging off. We can go a little bit farther ahead. Oh, no. We brought up in something else. One sec. Okay. We're just about ready. Lily wanted to sweep, so I guess I'll be the camera guy and you guys can do your thing. I'll just stay out of the way. All right. So we'll put down the masking now. Oh, you found a piece of the truck, did you? Oh, look, a rusty washer. Mint. All right, are we ready? Yep. Let's grab the masking. I'll get the tripod. Okay, Thank you. Masking? All righty. Now. The masking is this here. Piggy care. Paper towel. Yes. Yeah, it's paint plastic. And it says paint this stuff. And it's static, so it'll pick up any spray paint. Not that. This matter is awesome. Okay. Pick that one back up, Lily. Okay. There you go. Hold back. There you go. You're using all of it? Well, that's all of it. There's only a hand feet left. I'll try. While you're in, do it. Oh, that's fine. You're all right. Go ahead. I just need to uh, 
stir it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter if you get it on your clothes because now you put clothes on the outside. You, you can paint anything you like as long as you don't paint the outside of the truck. Like, don't paint the cab or whatever, right? Is this? Because if the, if the cab gets painted, oh, you're doing great. If the cab gets painted, mommy's going to have a little bit of it. What, this? Yeah, paint everything, sweetie. Really. Make sure you paint it really well and we get lots of paint on it because we don't want it to rust. Did you miss sweetie? We'll be alright. I'll get you a little table or something to put that paint on. And I'm going to stay in your guys' way and drink some coffee. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, where do you want to put? Is it right there good? No, I can't. I can't reach it. You can't reach it. Alright, she can reach it. Okay, just be careful though. Try not to get too much paint on your shoes. Try not to get it on your shoes. No, I picked up shoes that oh, okay. I was okay with. Man, that's looking good already. You guys are awesome. Thanks. Put it out as thick as you want. We got a whole gallon for another quart's worth of paint to, to, to paint. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Can I have a little bit of your paint? Yeah, come over and grab it. I'm going to put it on your paper for you. Here, Mommy. No, Chloe. Best painters ever. I won't be artists when I grow up. Yeah, so there's a lot. Wow, that's a lot. You can paint the springs, you can paint the whole rear end and everything. It's okay if I put it on here, right? Yeah, that's okay. That's why we put the masking down. But try not to. When you said masking, I thought you were going to put a mask on us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Why would we need that to paint? Um, try not to get too much paint on the mask because if you track it around where she shoes, so oh, yeah. that's yeah. fine. When you're painting, just stay on the pet yeah, plastic. I always mask if it goes on my face. You're fine. <laughs> I just need money. Oh, I know. <laughs> if the teacher asks you why you're full of black paint tomorrow, just say you were doing rat stuff, right? Go or check you can say you're doing hood rat stuff. Go check out dad's channel, see what we were doing yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, it's like these spots down here are kind of hard to get. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you got more of your shoe. I got more of shoe. Lily, you see sis scraping her brush? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't now. Never mind. So when you put your brush down in the paint, just kind of scrape it a little bit so it doesn't all drip off on the floor. Sorry. Then, no, you're doing a great job. I'm just trying to help you, that's all. I got paint for myself. Yeah. Daddy show you. So you just kind of take your brush like this and lay it down and pull it back. And then you take it like that and you lay it down and pull it back. And now there's no paint dripping off, right? There you go. I have the best job. Oh, Dad. That's fine. That'll all burn off anyway, right? Don't, burn off. Oh, don't put your paint over the floor. There you go. Yeah, it's silly. Can we do this? No. Oh, oh, oh. Mommy will have my head. I'm just straightening it out because I was trying to get down here for some reason. Oh, that's fine. You can grab some more paint. Wait, is this hers? No, well, it's all of ours, but we don't want to paint it. Right? I'm it's looking so out. good, though. I'm really excited. Whoa. I'm more excited about this. Thing. <laughs> I am. And he's not showing it. <laughs> <laughs> you try to look cool at the camera. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to embarrass you. <laughs> oh, I do I have to. I mean, I no, guess. I said, I mean, I guess that's what they are like. for. Yeah, great. Right. You should watch it. Make it. We might get black paint in your coffee. Right I have black here. coffee, see? Dad, can you put this right here? You You'd have black, black right coffee. Yeah. You'd have black or black or black or coffee if you got this in there. Yeah, but what is my coffee? Hey! 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 Hey!
I had a dream last night that somebody stole the pumpkin shield out of the rat house. I had no dream last night. No, nope, not. A guy took the front windshield out of the rat house and I was like, what are you doing? Can and I then he broke it. Here? And I yeah. cried. Can I yeah, we gotta do the whole inside the frame too. Yeah. Can I tell something? What's up? I had a dream of teddy bears. Yeah, wait a minute. Teddy bears and me. Yeah. Springs are looking good too. Mm -hmm. so we... You always get people in the car. Oh. I accidentally stepped on the real ground. Okay, be careful. Don't trip up. Right. This is looking so cool. I'm probably going to have to do another coat on this tomorrow because you see how it's not quite painting where it's, where it's galvanized. What does that mean? Galvanized is a coating that paint doesn't stick to really, really well. So, you can do that for it's up to you. If you want, I can put you inside of here so you can paint all that too. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Um, what, what are you saying? What am I saying about what? Like, the, the paint doesn't stick very well. Yeah, you see how when you brush it, you can still... Put me in! <laughs> you can still see... Um... Put me in! Okay, hang on. Move around this way. Can you reach in there? Because I wouldn't have to put you in there if you can. Oh, you can climb in there anyway. Free. You're a monkey climber. I am a monkey dad. I am your children monkey. Okay. How would we do the bottom? You gotta go like this. I can get you on the creeper. You can, you can lie down on the creeper and then paint, but you yeah. can't you can't paint directly above yourself because it'll drip down and then you'll be painting paint or seeing paint or Get it in your nose. <laughs> you want to try and spray paint into your nose? I get you, Daddy. It's going to be like spray painting. <laughs> Daddy got some on my toes. What? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some on my hand. Oh, that was me. Oh. Oh, it's stuck in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, you got your pink spray <laughs> Contamination. camera on the roof. Huh? How would you do that? I'll show you. It's going to be so cool. Let's we'll see how... Some of it better be time lapse. Nope. No time lapse. Is it okay if it goes all over my skin? Yeah, that's fine. Try not to get too much on there because, you know. This? Yeah, that's fine. Mommy gave you that shirt. So don't paint it. <laughs> <laughs> don't paint it. <laughs> don't do it on purpose. Mmm, paint yeah. fumes. What, baby? I am? Oh yeah, I am. I forgot. I was looking around at your guys' job. The paint fumes aren't bad at all, eh? Like it's not oil paint, so it doesn't smell horrible. Okay, tripod. Oh. Lily's going in deep. Undercover. Don't paint right above your face, okay? Because it might, uh, might get it in your eyes. Trying to get this up here. Oh, I got, I got, I got it in my hair. You got it in your hair? Yeah. We're getting a shower this evening. It doesn't matter. Maybe it won't get out. Well, then you have black hair. Oh, I got it out of my clothes. Can I have creeper? Yep. What does that mean? The creeper is a thing that you lie on. But, like I said, try not to, uh, don't paint directly above your face, okay? Look where the camera is. Look, you do that. Lily, look up. Ah! <laughs> so cool. Where'd I put my coffee? 
Or if you can't, I can do that like tomorrow or I can do that part or whatever. We will not go until full thing Is that 
these will be really awesome. Right. They keep you all in all the right hands. I'm still doing it. Oh, they do fit you well. Nice. How cool is that? Did you mind? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was expecting you to say no. No, you can not. Well, you can wear them here. Chloe, I got yours. I'm going to take them from the sweetie. No, I put mine in. I switched them. Ha, ha, ha. Is that why this one is covered? You guys can paint different areas so you're not sure over each other. What? I was here first. Watch your hair. Okay. <laughs> so close. You almost got it all over your hair. Well, I got a little bit in my hair. You guys stress me out if you know that. <laughs> I told Mom yeah. that I wanted a ponytail, <laughs> not a braid. Did I? I told mom that I wanted a ponytail, not a braid. Guess what she gave me? Braid ponytail? A braid. <laughs> The girls are painting the frame, Mom. Me? Oh, good job. Ah! Got on my skin. You put clothes on the camera. And look, video's watching us. Yeah. Nice. They're doing a great job. Lily doesn't have any paint in her hair yet. Do I? No. Well, I guess you don't either, but. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Any on us? I don't know. 
these gloves on? Where are Leah? So the frame is looking really, really good. We still got a little bit more to go, but Lily is ready to go home with mom. Oh, Lily dropped her book bag. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you gonna say bye? You got <laughs> you something. Yeah. I got paint on my face apparently. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, thank you for your help. And you did a great job. I think you did most of the painting on the frame. You obviously you're here to help still. Bye. Okay, bye. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, Nanny. Bye. bye. Take your hand to dandy backpack. <laughs> This is looking really, really good. <laughs> I love it. We didn't paint the diff because I'm gonna leave that. When I get the diff completely done, when I get shock mounts on it, when I get the spring perches welded on, then I'll go and paint it because this paint is super thick. It's really heavy enamel paint and it can't weld through it any good because it'll contaminate and then welds are no good. And then I gotta go grind it off, weld it and paint it again. So it's kind of backwards. But, man, it looks good. I gotta stand back and get a real good look at this thing. That's great. That's gonna be so good looking under the pan. And worst thing about it is probably never gonna see it again. <laughs> but, but, man, it looks good. You guys did an amazing job. So it doesn't rust anymore and if i do take the pan off then it'll look really really good and we absolutely buried it in paint so it's uh there's, it, no dirt around it, though. there's definitely no dirt now no, I meant you said buried. slick oh that's funny look how cool that is i love it great gotta kind of check something out because i can't tell what the truck is like down in the front or if it's back or what it is but hmm let's go check it out so i'm gonna i'm gonna take my phone and put on the level app just to see how it comes out and i'll put that up in the corner now in a second so we gotta see if it's level so i'm gonna run it right across the edge of the door right there because the door is level with the there which is level with the rocker so let's see so I had it up in a picture in picture and I can't believe that the cab is perfectly level. That's right on zero degrees. That is so sick. So we put 600, 700 pounds of engine and transmission in it. We put a couple hundred pounds of pan on the back. We put a 50 pound battery, 50 pounds worth of fuel. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. I'm wondering, I'm kind of hoping that it's gonna be right on and I don't have to go flipping axles. If I do, whatever, I'll do it. If I have to, I can see if I can make a shackle that's an inch longer and maybe maybe I can drop it that way. I, I don't really care. But it's a good sign. It's not six inches higher in the back. So that's, uh, that, that's something. So I'm going to end off the video here because we've got a lot of painting done today. 
the girls were up with me and gave me a lot of help and that was awesome. Well, they painted most of the frame before Lily gave up and Chloe wanted to go watch some YouTube videos. And, and uh, so then I finished off a little bit there, but man, that was a big help. So we're gonna shut her down. Thank you for helping Chloe. I can see you over in the corner there. <laughs> and thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks to all the new subscribers and YouTube members and patrons. What did you say, sorry? I'm trying to think of a Oh, that's funny. And uh, thanks to YouTube members and patrons. If you want to check out the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash station road rat rods. And YouTube members link is like here somewhere. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.